Hi there, welcome to No Nonsense Whiskey. My name is Vin Pierre, and on today's episode, we're going to go back to a distillery that I haven't touched since one of my first reviews, and that's Wild Turkey. One of the first reviews I ever did was the Wild Turkey Rare Breed. I still have the, you know, the box over here because I actually met the master distiller, Eddie Russell, and he signed that for me, so that'll be on my shelf there forever. I'm never going to get rid of that. But this, we're going back to the start of their range. This little bad boy is the Wild Turkey Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey, but it used to be called the Wild Turkey 81 or 81, named after its proof, 81 proof in the UK, 40.5% alcohol by volume. It's really the starting entry point to their range. After this, they go to the uh, the rye and then the 101 and then the 101 rye and it just keeps going on and on and on up and up and up and i hope to try the range one after the other funny story about how i ended up with this was uh, i'm actually a member of the uh, uk british bourbon society just a facebook group where like-minded individuals can talk bourbon but every now and again they post deals on amazon uh, just to make you guys jealous in north america we get uh, next day prime delivery and even same day delivery on some spirits. And uh, every now and again, they post a deal on there and Wild Turkey 101 was 23 pounds. And I went and had a look and I thought I found the same bottle for one pound cheaper. So I bought that instead. What I actually bought was the 81 for one pound cheaper than the 101. A little bit gutted, but it means that I can start off with the very, very basic bottling on my reviews and I can move up to the 101 and uh, go through the range kind of in order. And then maybe I'll even do the rare breed again because I mean, I love that stuff. Absolutely brilliant. But let's let's crack on with the Wild Turkey 81 or just Kentucky Straight Bourbon, however you want to call it these days and uh, see how we go with it. Now, it's a high rye bourbon, meaning that, uh, of course, the minimum 51% corn, but the, the bulk of the rest of it is made up with rye. So it's, generally speaking, what that means is you get more, more spicy notes to it. Sometimes even you get a bit of methanol, methanol, menthol to it. And you get that on this, for sure. You get that on this. Personally, I smell a lot of dark fruits, cherries, things like that. They're meant to be aged up to five years, which is it's quite well aged for a, an entry level. Very cheap. Let's try a little bit. Mm. It's got huge amounts of spices on it more of them dark fruits. I get quite a lot of cherry notes on this. But interestingly enough, I get a little bit of marzipan on the on the finish. And for me, I think that's what, uh, I don't wanna say kills the bottle for me, but it's the reason why it's not my favorite in their range. I mean, not by a long shot to be honest, but it's the marzipan. I'm not a big fan of the marzipan. But, it's still an all-round solid dram. Uh, I haven't covered it on the channel yet, but I much prefer the 101. Uh, I don't know what it is about it, but when I cover that, I'll go through it. But uh, to be honest, my absolute favourite in their range is the is the rare breed. Love that thing, still do. But I shouldn't detract away from this. It's a solid dram, solid whiskey. Uh, Eddie Russell and his team are doing an absolutely fantastic job to keep this so cheap really i mean in the, you're saying the uk i can get this just over 20 quid uh, and that's shipping it all the way over from kentucky and everything uh, i mean I, I suppose you guys in america get this even cheaper than that but you know i think it's a solid dram worth trying by anybody especially in the uk if you haven't tried bourbons yet and you're trying to get into it it does have that high ride to it so it isn't the smoothest whiskey in the world but if you're look, looking for something a bit more interesting than the scotches that you drink Absolutely no reason, no flies on it. <laughs> 